altruism, self-sacrifice, inspiration. These are meaningless words. They're pointless. These words are pointless. They have no purpose unless we have an example. These examples are what's necessary for people to look at those words and be able to define them. Now before I show how Sofia Benevento is a perfect example of these words and exemplifies them to the fullest potential, we have to understand a little bit about her background. She comes from a family of four with a heritage in Dominican and Italian cultures. She has a brother and a sister, one year older and one year younger respectively, and she defines that her family has always been close. And I quote her relationship with her siblings as a bond that could never be broken, one upholding trust and loyalty to the highest degree. So, although family is such an important factor in her life, arguably the most important factor is her altruistic service in the world. Service has been central in Sophia's life. Community is something that she was always surrounded by. She went on different outreaches, different programs, and invited her friends and family along the way to help her change the world. With this, in high school, she spearheaded a tutoring program for impoverished children in certain communities that were academically behind so far that they needed certain help. However, she felt as if this was not enough. She needed to do more, and with that, she co-founded a nonprofit organization known as Teen Serve in her high school years. This nonprofit organization focuses on impoverished communities to help children aspire to better things. Not only do they provide Thanksgiving meals and Christmas experiences to these children, yet they preach the word of God to them. Now with that said, many people are wondering here, why do all this? Why live such a sacrificial life? She says that she does this because she wants to provide a vision for kids of who they could be and not what they see in front of them. She wants them to realize their greatest potential and reach an inspiration. Why serve relentlessly? Why self-sacrificial? I asked her that question. And her response, I quote, Jesus came to serve and not be served. And, let, and I have adopted that mindset into the core of my philosophy. And I hope that I can uh, influence people for the better. But not only that, to make sure that I follow Christ in everything that I do. Wow. Many of us have someone who has inspired us to do greatness in the world. And for that, for Sophia, that person is Rosa Parks. Miss Parks' confidence and her strength as a woman pushed Sophia to do what she believes no matter what comes her way, no matter what people say, no matter how people react. You know, she says, people have shied away from their self and their opinions, and that is why we need more people like Rosa Parks to push us together to make us great once again. So being confident, being vocal, being loyal, these are things that she values in life and she values in Rosa Parks. I'm going to quote Sophia once again. The world can be a greater place if we had more people who were, who, if we had more people who believed in what they, who said what they believed. If we had more people who were loyal, if we had more people who were confident. And I hope that I can exemplify these things to the best of my ability, just like Rosa Parks. So, ladies and gentlemen, altruism, inspiration, self-sacrifice. These words can be perfectly defined by looking at Sofia Benevento. From her work as a co-founder of nonprofit to the tutoring programs to countless outreaches, she has proven to us that she is able to do more than what we can think. And many of us go, what else can, can she do? But I can tell you that her path is still going and it's still